Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Welcome to my kitchen. I just wanted to share with you guys pretty much what I eat almost every single day. Though I mix it up with different veggies. This week I got baby arugula, which has got this incredible flavor. I just roasted a bunch of corn last night, let it cool overnight, and then chopped it all up this morning. Like you can throw this in anything. So I wanted to share with you just how easy it is to make a meal and not expensive. Yes, that's a leftover Costco chicken. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but that's okay. This is leftover rice from a meal I had three or four days ago. Incredible Jamaican meal. And they just gave me so much rice. I've been eating from it for days now. So seriously, what that cost me, a couple pennies. I also roasted some zucchini last night with my salmon. Had a lot of extra, so boom, got that. And always have your favorite sauces and flavors on deck. This is not an ad, but I love this stuff. I am such a big fan of barbecue sauce. This one is sugar free. I highly recommend finding things that don't have a lot of added sugar or preservatives. Also, I'm a massive olive fan. I got this from Costco also, hashtag non -nad. And it is just so incredible. It's filled with uh, what kind of oil, a type of oil. But honestly, right before I start, here we go, pure soybean oil. What I'll do is I'll drain out most as much of the oil as I possibly can. So now I'm just scooping out this incredible olive mix. There you go. So I get a lot of questions about if I count macros, if I count my calories, I do not. But what I do count is my protein. I wanna get a lot of protein in and it takes a lot of time to chew and eat all of this chicken. So, so I don't wanna to have to eat any more chicken or meat than I have to. So yes, I do weigh my protein. So this is what I got. You can find, you know, any simple thing on Amazon and level that out and just rip up your chicken. So sometimes I'll do this ahead of time, but yesterday I was just doing all sorts of random stuff and just didn't feel like it. So I just kept it all on the bone, just waiting for me to do the work right now. See right there, that, that handful is already 100 grams. So for me, I eat about 200 grams in weight of protein at every meal. I'm 165 pounds on average, give or take a couple pounds. We're at 137 right now. So I like to round the protein content to about 25 grams of protein per 100 grams in weight. Meaning I'm gonna eat 200 grams in weight of chicken right here. So I'm looking at at least 50 grams of protein with this one meal. I myself like to eat close to four meals a day. Not all of them are going to include meat or chicken. And if they don't, that last one is gonna be a big scoop of vanilla vegan protein powder, which is gonna get me to my total amount of protein. There we go. Ugh, let me wash these off. I like to keep a clean kitchen while I do all this. So I've only got, gosh, look at that. 200 grams of chicken. Oops, here, here we go. I'm just looking at kind of what it feels like. I usually do about two scoops, you know, two scoops of rice. Let's add in a little extra. The more that you make these meals, you're gonna start to get a visual sense as to how much rice, how many carbs you're really putting in. Look at that, that was 99 grams of rice. That's awesome. I don't like to do more than about a handful, which ends up being about 100 grams in weight. So there we go. I've added that. Oh, this corn smells incredible. 
I wish you could smell it. Jeez. So throw that in there. I do not skimp on the veggies. I personally feel really good uh, when I eat corn. I know some people have a digestive response to it, so be leery in terms of the veggies that you're adding. You wanna feel good, always wanna feel good. Your food is supposed to help you. It's not supposed to harm you. So I love corn. It makes me feel incredible. It doesn't do anything negative to my digestive system. So I'm all about it, all about it. So look what we're doing. So I had 200 grams of chicken added another 100 grams of rice with the additional corn and there's some garlic and in with the zucchini. I'm now at 420, so there you go. It's just kind of interesting to see how much food you're actually gonna fit into your stomach. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. There you go, that, was, that brought me to 472. Also be leery, if you're really looking to lose fat and shred, do not do not choose a veggie that has this oil in it. Even though I told you guys that I sit there and I strain it out, just leave it out. Leave it out for the time being. Just make your life easier. That extra oil for me, it, I just feel great. Especially all this chicken that I have in here is white meat chicken. So there's not a lot of fat in my protein. Dunk that in. I feel really great about this barbecue and do not feel poorly about dunking it all on. It's only 10 calories per 30 grams. So my entire meal here, sauce included, olives included, brought me to 520 grams in weight. Yes, I use a microwave. Throw that in there. Let's do 130. Clean up in between. So I'm gonna save all of this stuff is gonna feed me again another two, three times tonight. You know what, let's leave that out just in case we want some more. And we're done. So here you go. This, whoo. So check that out before I toss up, ooh, a steaming, before I toss a bunch of arugula on it. Your meals don't have to look pretty. They really don't. I'll just purposefully make them look pretty, take a picture, and then chop them up. I love a nice, messy, mixed bowl. Love a nice, messy, mixed bowl. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, I love the smell of arugula. So guys, keep it simple. I love Tupperware. Like seriously, love Tupperware. I don't go out and buy too much. Just you know, whenever you have a nice to go meal, save your Tupperware. So now I have an entire thing of rice. I have an entire thing of corn. I have an entire thing of zucchini. And there you go, one bowl. This is one of my meals. I'll have at least three meals just like this throughout my day. Maybe one meal at the end of the evening, I won't have any rice in it at all. Just kind of listen to what your body wants, listen to what it, what it needs, what your current goals are, you know? So if you're really looking to lose fat, to shred a lot of weight, you know, just cut out that extra sauce that has that added oil in it. Cut out that extra sauce that has the added sugar. So really give yourself a really good like toolkit, like a seasoning toolkit to make everything just taste incredible. This is me getting a lot of protein in and it is chicken breast, but it's gonna taste really, really, really good. So you see, I didn't microwave the greens but I ripped them up and threw them right on top and I already see them starting to wilt a little bit. They're getting a little bit cooked because I personally love to have a little bit more of a raw feel when it comes to my greens. The zucchini, I barely cooked. I only cooked for 10 minutes in the oven because I, like I like that crunch. 
dang, I like that crunch. So this is me. I would have taken a nice picture of this to share on Instagram before chopping it all up. But this is literally what I do every meal. I just massacre it. That's what it's about. I want, I want eating to be quick. I don't want it to take too much time. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And I am so excited I made that corn yesterday. Jeez. I will be eating from that for about a, gosh, close to a week. So here we go. This is it. And that's your bowl. That's your beautiful meal. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. I seriously forget that I'm eating so much chicken in this meal because I'm a texture person. I like that crunchy corn, that like bold arugula. Oh, it is so good. So good. I'm serious. This corn, I am so excited about it. So there it is. Easy, simple, chicken, rice, veggie bowl. Make your life simple, make your life healthy, make your life fun. Thank you for watching. Comment below, let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions of like new sauces or new mix-ins or like questions about certain veggies. I have only begun in my culinary chef sort of life. There are so many more things that I want to learn when it comes to just making quick, healthy meals. So please give me some suggestions below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. In the meantime, eat up guys. Love ya. Laura Marie Massey, signing out.